Welcome to our HESI A2 question of the day. Today we'll be working on types of sentences. Before we jump in, I just want to remind you to head over to nursehub.com, sign up to become a premium member for only $19.99 a month and gain access to 7,500 plus practice questions and video reviews along with answer explanations, which will teach you everything you need to know to pass the HESI A2. So I want you to look at the question of the day and keep this sentence in mind. Which of the following is a simple sentence? Before we look at the answer choices, though, we're going to review the different types of sentences so that you have a better understanding of what we'll be looking at. So I'm going to move myself down here for now so that I'm out of the way of the little bits of text that are going to pop up. So a simple sentence is a sentence consistent of only one independent clause with a single subject and a predicate. A compound sentence is a sentence that has at least two independent clauses. Finally, a complex sentence has an independent clause and at least one dependent clause. So pause here, take some notes on these um, different types of sentences, and then I'm gonna give you a few different tips on how to uh, look at the differences between these different types of clauses. So an independent clause has a subject and a verb and expresses a complete thought and can stand alone as a complete sentence. A dependent clause also has a subject and a verb, but does not express a complete thought and cannot stand alone as a complete sentence. All right, so take notes on these um, and then resume play and we will jump into the question of the day. So here we go. Question of the day. Which of the following is a simple sentence? A. Who dreams of visiting Vietnam? B, she doesn't eat olives because she finds them bitter. C, however, the puzzle was missing a piece. Or D, it was a ludicrous story, but somehow his mother believed him. All right, so pause this video again, uh, read through the question, go through all the different answers and give it your best shot. I'll be waiting on the other end with the correct answer explanation. All right, good luck. All right, did you get it? Let's see, let's find out if you were able to get it. We are gonna reveal the answer now. So the correct answer explanation, uh, however, the puzzle was missing a piece. This is a simple sentence. This was the only simple sentence there. A simple sentence is a sentence consistent of only one independent clause with a subject, the puzzle, and predicate was missing. So now that we know what the correct answer explanation is, we're gonna hop over look at the different uh, incorrect answers in their explanation. So if you didn't get this right, don't worry. We're going to find out where you went wrong. We're practicing. Um, it's okay to get stuff wrong. You're going to get this down. So let's move on. All right. So now that we're going to take a look at the different incorrect answer explanations. So let me just move myself a little there. There we go. Can read everything perfectly now? Great. So it was a ludicrous story, but somehow his mother believed him. This is a compound sentence. A compound sentence is a sentence that has at least two independent clauses. It was a ludicrous story, and somehow his mother believed him. Joined by a comma and a conjunction, that being the word but. All right, moving on. Who dreams of visiting Vietnam? This is actually a sentence fragment. A sentence fragment does not have both a subject and a predicate, and it does not express a complete thought. However, if this had a question mark at the end, it would be considered a complete sentence. So here's the last one. She doesn't eat olives because she finds them bitter. This is a complex sentence. A complex sentence has an independent clause. She doesn't eat olives and at least one dependent clause because she finds them bitter. All right, did that make sense? If not, um, Reach out to us on our on-site chat and we'll be happy to um, go over this exact question with you or any questions you may have about the HESI A2 um, and give you some helpful answers. So before I go, just want to remind you guys, go to nursehub.com, sign up for the premium membership. It's only $19.99 a month. You'll gain access to 7,500 plus questions along with video reviews and in-depth answer explanations that are going to teach you everything you need to know on the HESI A2. If you're looking for grammar, we have a video course with Veronica. If you're looking for math, we have a video course with Brian. If you need some help on reading, we have a video course with Nicole.